Welcome back, everybody. It is Monday, July 12th, 2021, 1117 a.m., and I've got a present for you guys. Very, very odd thing just took place on the LiveMeteors.com website. You are looking at a snapshot I just took recently of a signature that came through LiveMeteors.com, and you're looking at a snapshot from the sub-channel, which live streams on YouTube almost 24-7. This is the channel right here. You can see their channel name is LiveMeteors.com, and basically what this is is a private project that was set up, and I'll leave this information information in the description box for you to come research it but it's been online for a long time and it's a meteor listening slash visual website where it uses different types of antennas to measure meteors coming into the Earth's atmosphere in a specific area. For example, this particular team, the meteor detector at LiveMeteors.com is located in DC metropolitan area. But basically, long story short is that this project monitors a section of the sky, not the entire sky. So we're only getting a portion, I believe, from around Virginia that stretches up north into Canada a bit. And what this does is monitor meteors or anything else for that matter that enters our atmosphere in that area. And the video I'm going to show you that has this signature in it that lasts almost two minutes long is unbelievable. And in my opinion, something massive just entered the Earth's atmosphere. I have every bit of info we're going to need to talk about that. And really quick, I want to answer someone's question that sent out an email to me. You are looking at the West Coast of the United States on the College of DuPage website and specifically the fire monitoring chart. And what this does is it gives us a satellite view, no different than a weather radar, and we can look at different hot spots in California or any other state, depending on what view we use. But yesterday I pointed out on Twitter that people should come to this website and check out this layer here so you can actually watch these fires. Take a look at the smoke flowing over Nevada. We could see one up here in Northern California, down here in Central California. And unfortunately, it's gonna get worse before it gets any better. We're probably gonna have another record-breaking fire season out west. But one thing I'm very happy about is someone noticed something else from the satellite view besides the fire And it was very interesting. It took me a bit to figure it out But I did and I just want to go ahead and show you guys what I found So we're gonna go ahead and switch views and satellites here. So now we are on the CIRA weather satellite So this is a different satellite with different angles a bit more detailed as you can see we have both lined up here This is the College of DuPage website where we were looking at the fires So while looking at these fires, we're gonna look over in the state of Nevada right here right about in this area You're gonna notice something a flash pops up and then quickly disappears and I'm going to show you that here as I click each frame we're going to go one two three and you can see this dot right here this this very bright dot pops up I'll keep my cursor off of it so you can look at it I'll go ahead and click again 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 and then boom it's gone so we'll go back one frame and you can see the reflection here and I'm calling it a reflection because that's exactly what it looked like from the start so I was wondering if it was some sort of airplane a craft in the sky so what I decided to do was to try to find this location on Google Earth and I'll zoom in here real quick for you first and we'll go ahead and click each frame and you can see boom it pops up right there right on the west side of this mountain range, clearly in the state of Nevada. And then as we go each click, you'll see it kind of max out in brightness, and then boom, it just disappears at the next frame. So I had to go investigate, and we found the answer. And in fact, it's really interesting what's down there. I've never seen one quite like this, but we're going to be looking directly at a solar panel plant or a solar farm. And you can only imagine what this must look like from space. What a cool looking area. And after seeing this, I had to say to myself, all right, it makes sense that it looked like a giant mirror or flash was going off. And in my opinion, it seems like it was the sun passing over and hitting this thing at different angles. Obviously, you could see thousands of these solar panels in this big circular formation here. Almost looks like some sort of crop circle or something along those lines. Very, very cool stuff. And I just want to say thank you again to anyone that points this type of stuff out. I know I've been asking you guys to submit pictures and videos and stuff like that so we can feature them in upcoming clips, which I plan on doing. We're going to be doing a lot of sky phenomena and stuff like that. So this falls right into that stuff where we can go in and actually solve these situations and not leave people hanging, wondering what it is we're seeing off these satellites. Very cool to get down there and figure it out. And now we're going to figure out exactly what's going on over here at LiveMeteors.com where something massive seemingly has entered the atmosphere, whether it's a meteor, whether it's some space junk, whether it's something else. One thing I do know is you do not see signatures like this too often. This thing was massive. Now, I just got to give you some context leading up to us watching this because there's a very annoying sound that comes with this channel. It's not their fault. It's the actual sound of these radio waves and things like that hitting each other and giving us the signatures we need. So we get this both visually, as you can see here, and we get it in a sound form. So I'm going to hit play right here. You're going to hear this annoying static and ringing noise, which is normal. So I want 
to give you the normal sounds you will hear on this site on any given day you go and listen to it. And then I'm going to show you what it sounds like to hear a meteor coming through the atmosphere. And then I'm going to show you what this did. So here we go. Just prepare your ears. This is what you normally hear when a meteor comes through the live meteors, the live meteors channel. Just the echo and then a meteor right now. You hear that whistle and the deep red. That is a normal meteor. That's a signature you'll see all day, every day here. All right, I'm going to stop it there because now we don't need the sound until we get to this major, major part of this signature. But I'm going to drag us forward in time and you're going to see something very interesting. Take a look at this. This begins to widen out. Again, this is all one giant signature. We never break sound here and it lasts for over two minutes. So we start at 222. Zero, zero. I'll backtrack here and we can see the beginning of this takes place at 2.22 p.m. And we can see the beginning of the signature here. These are normal signatures you'll see all the time. And then as we move forward, this thing gets very thick and that would be a strong meteor signal. Now, if that's a strong meteor signal, what could this possibly be? Look at this line and this signature that passes through these antennas. This thing is massive and lasts for over two minutes. If you thought that was big, take a look at the second half of this signature. Unbelievable stuff. This is very, very wide, very big object for a long period of time. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the rest of it so you can see that the signature ends around where we say it does about 2 minutes and 22 seconds afterwards. We go back to a normal signature, and that is a clear-cut view of something entering the Earth's atmosphere. Now, as far as the sound goes, I want you to hear some of this. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to attach this entire clip start to finish without any breaks at the end of the video so you can visualize this for yourself in real time without me stopping and talking, but you're going to witness a signature that I honestly can't say I've ever heard before. I've caught some very interesting things, very loud, long signatures on here but nothing quite like this clearly something physical up in the earth's atmosphere and if not then we're talking about a very big powerful energy beam of some sort that may be involved in a space program we do know a rich certain somebody who just went up to what they say was space so we don't know maybe this is one of those afterburners or something i'm not sure all i know is that this is massive and this probably won't be the last you're hearing about it once again i will link the website here for livemeteors.com and a lot of the times guys you get these normal meteor signatures all day every day some are bigger than others but it's super rare to get a signature of that size and that length. So your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to dig in to see if I can find any satellites or anything out in lower Earth orbit that may have also picked up this signature, and I will relay that info to you as soon as possible. And as I said, I will play that clip in its entirety right now. Have a great day. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to be here. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>